Hey everyone, welcome back to Brick Tech New Horizons. What is happening over here? Something's not going how it's supposed to. I saw that my wood farm clocked up there, but I didn't expect this to stop, so I might have to investigate that. I also visited the Twilight and did a lot more farming. I'm not too sure. Can you see the waypoints? Um... Okay, there's a lot of dimensions. Probably no way to access that, but I did a lot of mining, even found some more shards, but only the shards that we already found. As you can see right here, a lot more air and terror shards, but no ignis or the other shards that we're still lacking. So I have to investigate that, um, how to get more shards. I looked in the chart that is available, and they should all be available in the twilight on the same height. I just didn't have any luck. Right here you can see that the tree farm is clocked up, but I didn't think it would pose any issues, so that's obviously not the case. Well, we are out of wood completely, which would probably be the issue, most likely because we are filled up on saplings, which means I should probably empty this out for now. I can't make a void upgrade yet, I checked that out, we need to enter the MBH, which we might actually be doing today. Before we do that though, I did a few upgrades right here. Firstly, we have the glass inside, and as you can see, we have a tank filled with oxygen and a pipe behind that. That's also pumping into the blast furnaces now, so we should get steel even quicker. And as you can see, we already have 15 here, 15 here, that's 100, plus the 500 that are in here, and around 200 I believe I have in storage as well. Oil is slowly running out, but I basically just hooked up the oxygen tank right here to the blast furnaces over there. Next thing we have to do with this setup so that it continues running is take care of the hydric sulfur right here. And I want to convert that into normal sulfur for which we need a lot more oxygen though. But I'm not too sure if we're going to do that now or later or even in this episode at all. What we can do finally though is fill this up. Can I do it right here? That's very slow. But we have a quest to complete. Right up here in EU, we can complete this quest. And I believe we should even be able to complete this quest at some point. I think it's a main quest. I'm not too sure if it's required to get into tier 3 it would be. But we have a few more quests that, have, that are definitely required. Um, done. For example, this MB Machine Hall, and I think there was one other quest. This one right here for the circuits. Getting those circuits actually isn't too complicated. We just need a little bit of warp pulp and the refined glue. Not enough power though. Yes, I changed the generator. We need more generators right here. And I believe I even have some lying around. And if I don't, going to have to make some more of these. But it will take a moment anyway. So after that, what else do we need? A little bit of gold wire I should be able to do that, and then we already have the good circuit board. It's really nice to have this backpack, and currently I also have a lot of items lying around. For example, this generator I didn't have to craft at all, and everything is just working, which is really nice. We also might upgrade our tools rather soon, since I have a lot of, lot of steel available right now. And we're still using mostly iron tools, for example, the screwdriver, the wire cutter, the hammers, and basically every tool I have in my toolbox in the main base over here is made out of iron. So that's something we should upgrade rather soon. We also should probably worry about the oil right in here, which is starting to slowly run out. But let's focus on the task at hand, which is getting some gold wire that is up here, quest updated, as well as the phenolic circuit boards and my best guess is to have these in the center and surround them by gold good guess that should complete the quest now that's a different quest right here everything completed and we can choose i think i'm going to actually take the gold wire i'm not too sure if what we can get from the tier two loot bags a few coins nice to have Nothing else unlocked from here, so let's try this one next, which actually isn't too difficult. We might be able to craft it just right here. We need some aluminum plates. We have our tools, at least some of them available. And then it should just be a case of doing that with some copper wire now. And there we go, and the machine hull. Quest complete. There we go. 
Okay, so loot bag and a lot of coins. Uh, duh, 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 keep your figure running and make some aluminum. Good, good, good. Still not in the next chapter though, so going to see. I think we need this uh, in order to progress. I know there might be a few more quests that we need to complete that are considered main quests. So let me look around the quest book what those are. Look through the quest book a little bit and it appears that we need to do one quest which is really difficult. That's this right here since the arsenic dusk is extremely hard to get only with the small ores for our purpose. That's the only way I could find and it's made from the real gar. Uh, and that is found between 5 and 85, so not very easy to get. So this quest should be rather simple, and the other main quest that I found was this right here. We could also try to complete the light fuel and cross our fingers that it's the only main quest we need to do for the MVH, even though I don't think that will be the case. So let's complete that and get a... What do we want? Probably the tank is nice to have. So that has completed, MBH, please, maybe? No, I wasn't expecting it either. Getting this NAFTA is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be since we actually need two more sulfuric NAFTA salts, which means that we need to change out one of these distilleries, or maybe just make a new one might be better so we don't have to change our setup right here and just funnel the oil into that. Then we have to use a chemical reactor that I set up back behind here, funnel some nitrogen in here. We can actually use the nitrogen cells, nitrogen hydrogen cells. We have to make a fluid canner to get the hydrogen out of the cells, funnel it into here, get two more of the sulfuric naphtha, and then we can finally make our cells that we need for this quest. Should be almost done now. We need that, we need two cells. We sort and take those two cells. Hopefully this has two buckets now. Perfect. I should probably shut it up because currently we don't need any more of this if we don't switch over the production, which I don't think we will. So let's stuff that in here, stuff that in there, and we should get just enough for the quest to be completed. And even have some hydrogen gas left over, but not going to worry about that too much. Detect and take the loot back because we really don't need any more oxygen. So that seems to not have done anything. Glad we did the quest then. At least we got some loot back. So I also claimed some other quests. So let's see what we get. Tier 2. See if that was worth it. Okay, a lot, a lot of saplings. Don't really think I need them. Let's throw away the oak though nothing more okay we even got a lasso which completed a quest that is nice another loot bag and give me those coins don't really need paper can throw away the cobblestone that and open up the new loot bag vacuum tubes that's actually quite a decent reward so what we need to do next is go into the nether find some certus cords as well as the, what was it called? Real Gar, small ores. I hope he doesn't attack me, but so far, <clears throat> he didn't. Just going to ignore him now. I found some of the nether quartz that we needed. And is there some Surtis quartz in there, or is that something different that I have to find separately? I'm not too sure. I hope I can get some Surtis quartz from this, because I don't want to look around anymore. I should have my tools with me right here and going to my- Oh my goodness! That scared me! <laughs> oh my goodness! Um, whew, that really scared me. I can take him though. Don't worry about that, I will definitely get that quartz. Killed the pigman, looked up the recipe, and realized that we can't do anything with that because it's not the quartz that we need. That's just small nether quartz. We actually need the certus quartz, otherwise we can't make certus out of this. This is just normal nether quartz, which we can process into the normal stuff, but we need the certus quartz from applied energistics, seemingly. Which means I gotta look around for a lot, lot longer. We have something after us, and I don't want it after me. 
It's very terrifying, and it's as fast as I am, so... Please help. Okay, not going to go near that guy. I think it's catching up. Oh, something's definitely catching up to me, which is bubbly, and I don't like it at all. Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any blocks. Okay, go in the inventory. And... No, it's one wide. Oh, we're so dead. Just stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Okay, it's a faint ghast. Is it here? Oh, I got it. I'm oh, so going to die here. I have no idea what's happening, but I'm just going to stay still <laughs> and regen some health. Well, I checked out the Greg Tech cheat sheet, which tells you where some ores can be found, and it says that Certus Quartz should be found around the Nether Quartz, or at least around Quartz, it says. So I'm hoping that I find some Certus Quartz in here, but I think that I saw some Certus Quartz veins. So I'll just punch through here a little bit. If I don't get Certus Quartz, I at least get a little bit of Nether Quartz. And the nether is very deadly, that's why I came here and am just hoping to find some nether quartz, surface quartz in here in between the nether quartz, so that I don't have to continue exploring. Farmed all of the quartz that we could get, some of it is in my backpack, and I just fell down from one of these ledges. Oh, didn't even see you there. Uh, you can probably not see anything, but this right here should be the surface quartz. Far right, um... So it's quartz. There we go. That's exactly what we need. So, oh, I thought I heard something. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. So we found Sirius quartz. Just going to have to mine a bunch of this now. Sadly, the Sirius quartz vein that I found wasn't as full as I thought. It was partially dug up, so we didn't get as much as I thought we would. This is not it, we have two more stacks, but I didn't want to process it all in the basic forge hammer. Let's just have a bunch of it in there, because we can actually double what we get from this, which, by the way, is two per ore. We can double that with a autoclave that we currently don't have, but... Here we go, find some service quartz. We actually should have most of these. And then you're going to hate this number of... Oh, no. I think the only good news is that we potentially don't need this to progress into the MBH, but that doesn't seem like something I will like. What we can quickly hand in though is just the contents of this chest. That should be good enough to claim that quest, and then let's attend to these two. They're actually not too, too difficult, we just need some brass, which is somewhat hard to get. We have to process our tin a little bit further or seek out a new way of getting it, which I looked up a little bit and I think when we enter the MVH that should be possible. Quest completed, let's claim our rewards. No idea what that sound was. Hmm, we have an issue. We have a miner right here which we could potentially use but it's very, very terrible. Um, if I read that up correctly, we have this stuff which I didn't even look up what that was. But most importantly, we don't have the MB tier yet. We actually need the arsenic dust, and it's pretty much impossible to get with this real gar ore because it's very, very, very difficult to find. So let's see, can we make a, what would it be, a combustion generator for the MBH, or what does that need? Advanced combustion generator. Can we potentially do that? Because if we can do this, then we should be able to process our cobalt tight and get the arsenic dust that way, because currently we can't really process that in the MB, no, the LVH, as far as I can tell at least. Wait a second, I haven't even looked at this. Cobalt tight dust, cobalt dioxide, and arsenic trioxide. We have a blast furnace with oxygen, that's for our steel production. We would get a liquid from that, which we can probably take out easily. Can I process that is the big question though. Electrolyzer 30, let's do exactly that since we have a bunch of cobaltite. I believe we have around 7 stacks of the stuff right down here. So that should be very easy to do. Uh, let's just see, what's the cobaltite? 
There we go. I can definitely do that. I just have to see if I'm messing something up by putting it in there. And if I don't, then we have a very easy way of getting this stuff. So the truth is, I'm actually not too sure if this is going to mess anything up, but well, it's at least worth a try. Let's see, okay, one got consumed, which is good news. I don't quite know how to get the fluid out of there or the gas because I didn't see a gas output anywhere. Uh, did we get what I wanted though? That looks good, that looks very good. Right here, that's the input hatch. Maybe the gas just vanishes if you don't have a spot for it. Or I have a spot for it and I just don't know about it because I just dug around right here, all around and didn't find any spots. So I just thought, okay, let's put it in, see what happens. And seemingly that is actually working. Had to craft a basic electrolyzer and just hooked it up very crudely, but we had oxygen and probably also the arsenic dust. Finally. So where was the gallium? I have no idea. I put it somewhere, but I don't quite know where. Found it for whatever reason it was in here instead of in my dust box, which is right there. But let's see that the quest updates. Detect. And then that stuff should be rather simple now. Was that not how you crafted it? Was it, did you really have to use a mixer for that? Um, let me figure that out quickly. Oh, this garbage better finally work. That should be it. Should have power from the back. Right here. Is it turning on the top? It's definitely turning. It's definitely getting power. So I'm definitely doing something wrong. Probably needs a circuit or whatever. Yes, a program too. And coincidentally, I actually have two of those. For whatever reason, I don't know. I just noticed it sometimes. Uh, at some point, not sometimes, and it's also going to take a little while until it appears in this chest right here. The mixer just stopped, it's right in here, let's just take that out. I think I didn't configure that correctly. Item auto output into the small pipe right here. Detect, and since we get a lot of arsenic dust now that I figured it out, let's actually get the gallium dust. And a little bit of that stuff, claim. And here's the diode. I hope that is the last thing I have to do. Not too sure if we can actually melt glass in this thing right here. Seemingly not. Maybe we need the glass dust, but we have to put it in an assembling machine. These two items we actually just need 16. And as soon as I figure out how to melt down glass, this should be a go and we should have some diodes. I hope what I have in mind will work. I melted down some glass. And now I'm going to fill a bucket with that glass and then fluid extract the bucket. And that's going to grant me, I believe, two diodes per bucket that I fluid extract. And I hope that one bucket is equal to one glass block. So I think that is mm, totally not going to work. Why? Please uh, click it in. Shift, not shift clicking. So this won't work. What should work though is an item we just acquired that is quartzite. And I believe I cleaned it up and it should be somewhere in my inventory, probably in the minus backpack. The quartzite dust should turn into glass in the fluid extractor. It's definitely not very fast, but at some point in my life, this will probably make some diodes. The assembling machine is done. We're still getting glass for whatever reason. Let's quickly turn that off. Probably going to have to get my plumber for this then. But most importantly, eight diodes. Quest complete. Still, oh my goodness. I was kind of expecting that, uh, to be quite honest. What do we want? Not too sure, not important. Um. We should have all of that stuff. Can we quickly just do that? We actually can just do that. It's prepared all of them. I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I did not detect all of the items. You gotta be kidding me. I'm done.
Well, around an hour later, it's actually a day later, we are back and I have all of the materials again. At least I believe that I do. Yes, finally. Uh, wine, beer, and a few coins. Hopefully no more quests and the MBH is finally unlocked. That is so good to see. I'm not too sure if we're going to really do too much MB stuff in the next episode. I also just downloaded the new version of Greg Tech New Horizon, or rather it's on the server now. It's been out for around a week and you might notice that the machines are looking a lot nicer. They are brighter than they were before. They had a bluish tint before to them and now they're more white, which I really, really like. Um, also the mixer is a little bit nicer. All of the machines look good. I think besides that there might be a few changes that I overlooked, but that's the ones that were standing out to me most. And I believe that this actually concludes the episode. We actually entered the MBH and are almost out of all, so I'm probably going to get them all off cam. In the next episode, we're going to be working on this room over here, which I duck out a little bit already, but we're going to fill it with machinery and automation next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one and that I'm going to see you next time.